in this video I'll show you how to connect your Epson XP4200 or 4100 to your smartphone, iPhone or Android to be able to print and scan via Wi-Fi. So let's get started. On your phone you need to go on the Apple Store or the Google Play Store and download the Epson Smart Panel app. It's very important you download this app and not the other Epson app, which could be confusing since it's called Epson iPrint. Do not download this one, download the other one. You need to go on the printer itself, make sure it's turned on. This is the main menu of the printer. You're gonna use those arrows to navigate and the OK button to select. You're gonna go until you see settings and then press OK. Then you're gonna go down until you see network settings. Select it and press OK. Press OK again since Wi-Fi setup is already selected. Make sure that the first option here, Wi-Fi is selected. Press on it and press OK again. Press OK again to select Wi-Fi Setup Wizard. And now it will look for your home network or if you're at the office, your office network. From this list, you can navigate using these arrows and select yours. Press OK. And now you have to enter the password. Press OK again and using these keys you're gonna enter it. If you want the numbers, you just need to go down there, press OK, and you'll have access to symbols and numbers as well. Once you're done typing your password, select OK and press OK. Then you're gonna select Start Setup and press OK. All you have to do is to wait, don't do anything, don't touch any buttons it will do the connection by itself. Perfect, we have the blue check mark. This means that this printer is now connected to your home wireless network. Now take your phone and open the app. Press next, next, only this time. And here you'll have a list of all the printers that are detected by the app. You should select XP4200 series or 4100 series. Tap on it. And you should have the screen saying connection is complete. Press OK. You may have to choose between if you want a menu of the app to be with cards or tiles choose tiles it will look like this one over here this is the main menu of the app very easy to use now if you want to print something just press print if it's a photo a picture choose the first option if it's a document choose the second option i just want to print a text document so i'll choose this one and now you'll have to go on your smartphone and choose the file you want to print so it may be a pdf a jpeg could be other formats as well in my case, it's this file, so I'll click on it. It'll open. And now before continuing, you need to load some paper inside of the printer. Make sure this is done. And also pull this paper tray like this and like this, just to make sure that the printed paper is uh, not flying everywhere on your desk. Now, when you're ready, you're gonna press print. It will give you a summary or of every settings that it will use. So make sure that the printer name is XP4200 series or 4100 series. Choose the printing range. Let's say you just want the two first page of the document to be printing, you can select there. Make sure that the paper size is eight and a half by 11 inches if it's just a normal sheet of paper. And here you can choose other settings. If you want it to be in color, what kind of print quality and how many copies you want. Once you're done, just press this start button. 
all you have to do is to wait it will send the file and you should have this blue check mark just telling you that it's completed and this is how you print a document or a picture could have been a picture as well to use the scanner function you just have you just have to press the home button here to go back into the main menu press ok and you're gonna press this green scan button here you're gonna select the document size let's just scan this paper so it's eight by and a half, eight and a half by 11 inches I want the scan to be in color so I'll leave it like this resolution very important here click on it if you're scanning a picture where resolution so details are very important you're gonna select high 600 dpi if you're just scanning text like in my case 200 is enough so I'll leave it at 200 and here there's automatic rotation you can leave this on finally you need to select in which format you want the scan to be in so this is PDF pre-selected you can click on it and select between JPEG and TIFF if you're scanning pictures you're gonna probably select JPEG but in my case again this is just one paper with text so I'll leave it at PDF before pressing the start button you're gonna come over here open this lid take the paper put it facing down like this and align it with this corner so what I mean by this is simply push it until the corner of the paper meets the corner of the printer over here then you can close the scan lid and press the start button you just have to wait if you're scanning at a higher resolution than 200 it will take more time okay we're done so this is the scan you can even zoom in to see the details as I saw as I told you if you're scanning text 200 is plenty of plenty of details for a text now let's say you have a document with multiple pages and you want to combine them in one single PDF well in this case now it's time to remove this paper and let's say this is page number two you're gonna put it the same way align it with this corner close and you're gonna select this plus button on the lower left side and it will scan the second page once you're done the second page will be displayed over here and you can do this with as many pages you have if you have 10 20 you just have to lift put the new the new paper press the plus button and it will just continue to add on once you're done you're gonna press next you're gonna choose a file name you can type and give it your personal file name so let's say test scan Epson location is where do you want the file to be saved on your smartphone so click on it and select where on your smartphone you want this PDF file or JPEG file to be saved let's say I want it to be in documents you're gonna select use this folder allow and then press save if you want to share this uh, scan press this button over here and you'll be able to share it in different apps or by messenger you'll have all these options over there to save it just press save it will give you this message press yes and you're done scanning thanks for watching I hope this tutorial was helpful if it was please leave a comment down below a like subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next one